This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, welcome to Painting 102. Now, you got your compressor, you got your airbrush, it's time to go paint. Wait a minute, what? Hold on. Yeah, you. You, on the Dell computer there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know your name there. You said you've never done this before? Oh. Okay. Well, <clears throat> that changes everything. See, if we just went outside and I started showing you how to spray this and everything like that, at the end, when you're done, you're not going to know one of the most important things about this thing. How it works and how to clean it. With that said, let's go down to the table and take apart our airbrush and learn a little bit more about it. Now, as you see, I have a gravity feed. So everything comes down from the top. Now, mine's a little different than everybody's. Uh, you know, you can have different ones, but they basically all come with the same principle, and that's what the most important thing. You may find one of these which will be in there, which will help you take things apart. But we're going to do some things here, and I want to show you how important some of this stuff is now most of them you're going to take out the back okay and then you can unscrew the front now paint gets clogged in here now in here is a little uh, it, it help controls the spray a bit but if you notice here there's a little pointy thing and you do not want to touch that because that is what filters how the paint comes out and this is called the needle okay it comes back here this is probably your most important part of your airbrush okay and as I loosen this I'm gonna be able to pull this out and as you can see all it is this is the thing that paint will build up on and you're gonna to wanna to keep that clean and also you wanna be careful and not bend it if you hit the end at all you are in a lot of trouble and I always go out and I buy some extra of these just to have on hand so I'm gonna put this back and this has to go dead in or else you got yourself a problem here so as you can see I'm just very carefully feeding that back in there until the point comes back out and then I'm gonna put my piece back in here but you're gonna to wanna to wipe this down with a rag after you paint this is when you're finally done painting and something we'll talk about the other thing you're gonna to wanna to take out and and that's this top piece here okay that's your your catch-all for your paint you're gonna pour your paint in the top here and this can get pretty dirty so you wanna have some some uh, airbrush cleaner which as you see right here I have some in my hand notice how that just miraculously popped up only because I forgot to bring it up but what you're gonna do is while you have air connected to this on, on your hose you wanna kind of run this through here so this will all be together and you're gonna to wanna to put this cleaner in here and run it through it's gonna help you clear out the paint but you also want to take a little of this and put it on a rag and just clean out some of the threads here that some could be left over around here around the gasket and then finally here there's another piece that comes off here very easily and that's where your needle is and we want to be real careful because like I said as you see there is the actual needle and we want to be very careful because your needle is your most important part and you see there's just a little area there for it and putting this back on you want to make sure you just take your time and get your threads in there and look see nice and easy and then you're gonna see the needle come and pop right back out which it does there we go little itty bitty thing there and then of course we're gonna put we're gonna just put this back together while we're at it and I just take my time that's the most important thing don't be afraid of it but keeping this clean is going to prolong the life of your your um, brush now you see how the trigger moves you want to check the trigger make sure that's good air just comes through here so you're pretty good this just comes right back on on this particular model and like I said they're pretty much basically all the same so you're gonna get a good and and also some of them come with in case you don't want to fill that up or you feel feel 
a little more confident where you just want to spray a little area you also have a little bowl here and you have a big one here I'm always I always keep the big one on just screw it on and make sure you keep it clear now what I like to do is when I'm changing colors I usually have a cup and I'll pour a bunch of this and so I'll do half and half with water and I will just stick it in the cup and just let it let it go just let it just rip and it clears itself out a lot of times um, and I get I always go from a lighter color to a darker color to a darker and darker color so that's another thing that you're gonna wanna see but we're gonna we're gonna be showing you how that all works next time on the 102 so now you learned how to take this thing apart and you have a good idea that after you paint what you have to do so you're gonna wanna keep this video at hand because next time we're gonna be painting and then you're gonna have to clean this bad boy after you try it so at least we have everything right where you can so once you see the results I get with the painting you can go right at it and know how to clean it right afterwards so let's send it up top and get on out of here folks well there you have it that's how you keep this thing clean you understand a little bit of the function of how it works and our next episode is going to be how to paint with it how to change colors with it how to keep it going and not clog it up well I hope you learned a lot I think you're ready to get going we're an airbrush and until next time on painting 102 I'm Rob Warren we'll see you soon